Hello guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. Uh, welcome to second episode of 2D Platformer Course. Today I want to show you some basics about the Unity interface and how to properly import things. This is mostly for beginners, but uh, there is some interesting things about importing that even more experienced Unity users want to know. So, let's get started. First, uh, we need uh, to create a new project. Let's call it Tutorial. Since it's a 2D platformer, let's select 2D and create project. This is our interface. Uh, here in project window we import things that we will use like sprites and sounds. In the scene window we create our levels and uh, here is the list of the objects uh, that are in the scene. Uh, currently there is only main camera and inspector shows us details about uh, some object in this case uh, main camera if you don't have uh, your sprites to follow this tutorial go to asset store and find some useful uh, assets uh, or go to assets import package and select 2D. That will import uh, things that you can use to follow this tutorial. Also, we started a tutorial course about pixel art and maybe it will help you to create your own sprites. You can even use paint. Everything that helps is good. Now, let's import our first sprite. We can do it in two ways. The first way, go to Assets, Import New Asset, and now we need to find what we want to import. Let's see, Sprites Tutorial, let's import a character, Idle, I click Import. Great. Second way, which I like more, especially if uh, you use uh, two monitors, is just to drag over like this. Nice. It's easier if you use two monitors, obviously. It's up to you, really. Now, we can't just do this because we want one character, not six of them. So we must change import settings. Click on the sprite and here you can see import settings. Let's zoom in. And uh, this uh, sprite looks terrible. But uh, we will fix that, don't worry. Uh, first thing you see is that uh, sprite is blurry. That is because our filter mode. When uh, using uh, pixel art, we need point no filter mode. See? Uh, much better. But uh, his face still looks strange. Uh, that is because our format is compressed. We need 16 bits or true color. I will choose true color. Much better. Now, uh, if we go to sprite editor, notice we can't slice this sprite uh, that is because our sprite mode is single we need multiple apply 
and then go to sprite editor. Mm, uh, I will slice by cell size because I know that my one cell is 64 by 64 pixels. You need to check this with your artist. So let's click slice. Nice. Here I can change the name or pivot point, but uh, I don't uh, really need that uh, here. So just click apply. Great. Now we have six sprites, not one. And we will uh, use them in the idle animation later. Next thing, we want to turn off uh, MIP maps. If you wonder what MIP maps are, then check Unity official explanation in the description below. Last thing and very important are pixels per unit. Notice if I increase pixels per unit, that uh, my sprite will become smaller and vice versa. Uh, let's set it to 32 so it will be easier to explain. This is really important guys, you need to understand uh, this. Do you see this square? It's one unit, this little uh, square. And his size is uh, 32 times 32. 32 on uh, X and 32 on Y axis. It's because I set my pixels per unit to 32. If I set uh, pixels per unit to 50, it will be 50 times 50. So I know that uh, uh, my sprite is 64 by 64 and it will take 4 squares of space. It will be 2 squares tall and it will have 2 squares mm, on x axis. Uh, 32 plus 32 is 64. If you understand this, you can manipulate your character size even when you're making him. Also, you can uh, change uh, his size uh, by scale in transform. Let's set it to 5. Notice this is how to import pixel art sprites. If you have other type of sprite, you may change some settings. And I want to stop here. Next time we will make our first script and learn how to move our player. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe and see you next week.